Welcome to the global defense battle. The Tejas MK-1 is a lightweight, single-engine, multi-role fighter jet developed by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited in India. It is part of the light combat aircraft program that started in the 1980s to replace older jets like the MiG-21. The Tejas MK-1's main purpose is to provide air defense and strike capabilities. Its role includes interceptor and ground attack missions, with flexibility in different combat scenarios. The aircraft was inducted into the Indian Air Force in 2016. On the other hand, the F-16 Fighting Falcon is a combat-proven single-engine jet created by General Dynamics, which is now produced by Lockheed Martin in the United States. The first version was introduced in the late 1970s. Initially designed as a daytime air superiority fighter, it quickly evolved into a multi-role aircraft, capable of both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions. It has been a backbone of many air forces around the world. The F-16 entered service in 1978 and has continuously been upgraded. Today we will compare both of these aircrafts. These two jets are often compared because both are lightweight, multi-role fighters designed for similar purposes, but come from different origins. Their comparison highlights differences in design philosophies, technology levels, and performance. So let's start. Starting with the design first, the Tejas MK-1 has a compact and modern aerodynamic design, optimized for agility and speed. It uses a delta wing configuration, meaning its wings are shaped like a triangle. This design gives the aircraft excellent maneuverability, especially in close combat situations. Tejas does not have a horizontal tailplane. Instead, it relies on its tailless design to reduce drag and improve aerodynamics. The body is made using lightweight composite materials, which make up almost 45% of the airframe, contributing to weight reduction while maintaining strength. Tejas has a length of 13.2 meters, a height of 4.4 meters, and a wingspan of 8.2 meters. Its empty weight is around 6,560 kilograms, and its maximum takeoff weight is approximately 13,500 kilograms. On the other hand, the F-16 follows a more traditional aerodynamic design with trapezoidal wings and a horizontal tailplane. The F-16's body is long and sleek, designed to minimize air resistance. One unique feature is the bubble canopy, which provides the pilot with excellent visibility in all directions, crucial for air combat. It also has a leading-edge root extension near the wing, which improves airflow at high angles of attack, enhancing its agility. The F-16 is larger and heavier than the Tejas, with a length of 15 meters, a height of 5 meters, and a wingspan of 9.96 meters. Its empty weight is around 8,600 kilograms, and its is about 19,200 kilograms. These differences affect the aircraft's maneuverability, range, and payload capacity. The F-16, with its larger size and weight, is designed for higher payloads and extended missions, while the lighter Tejas focuses on agility and short-range combat. Talking about the engine and performance, the Tejas MK-1 is powered by a General Electric F404 GEI N20 turbofan engine. This engine provides a maximum thrust of 84 kN with afterburners, which is the thrust produced when fuel is injected directly into the exhaust to boost power. This thrust gives the Tejas a good balance of speed and maneuverability. The thrust-to-weight ratio of the Tejas is approximately 1.07, which means it can generate more thrust than its own weight, enhancing its agility and performance during combat. The Tejas MK-1 has a maximum speed of Mach 1.6 and a combat range of around 500 kilometers, although it can extend up to 1,150 kilometers with drop tanks. Its maximum altitude, or ceiling, is 15,200 meters, and the rate of climb is 240 meters per second, allowing the aircraft to ascend rapidly in combat situations. On the other hand, the F-16 is equipped with a more powerful Pratt & Whitney F-100 PW229 or General Electric F-110 GE129 engine, depending on the variant. These engines can generate a maximum thrust of around 131 kN with afterburners, which is significantly higher than the Tejas. The F-16's thrust-to-weight ratio is around 1.095, which gives it a slight edge in acceleration and overall performance. The top speed of the F-16 is Mach 2.0, making it faster than the Tejas. It also has a longer combat range of approximately 550 kilometers, extendable up to 4,220 kilometers with additional fuel tanks. Its ceiling is 15,240 meters, and its rate of climb is 254 meters per second, slightly faster than the Tejas, allowing it to engage targets at high altitudes quickly. In terms of engine power and performance, the F-16 has a clear advantage with its higher thrust, greater speed, and longer range.
Coming to the weapons and payload capacity, the Tejas MK-1 has a payload capacity of approximately 5,300 kilograms. It is equipped with eight hard points, which are attachment points on the aircraft where weapons, fuel tanks, or other mission equipment can be carried. For air-to-air -air combat, the Tejas can carry short-range missiles like the R-73 and Python-5, and for beyond visual range combat, it is compatible with the Astra missile, an Indian BVR missile, and the Derby missile. It can also be armed with air-to-ground weapons like the KH-59 and Spice 2000 precision-guided bombs. Additionally, Tejas can carry rocket pods and laser-guided bombs for ground attack roles. The Tejas does not typically carry nuclear weapons, but it is theoretically capable of doing so. However, India tends to reserve its nuclear capability for more strategic platforms like bombers and certain missile systems. The F-16 Fighting Falcon has a much higher payload capacity of about 7,700 kilograms and comes with 11 hardpoints. This allows the F-16 to carry a wide variety of weapons for different missions. In air-to-air -air combat, the F-16 is compatible with AIM-9 Sidewinder and Iris-T for short-range engagements and AIM-120 Amram for BVR combat. The AIM-120 is one of the most advanced BVR missiles, giving the F-16 superior reach in air combat. For air-to-ground missions, the F-16 can be equipped with a wide range of precision weapons like AGM-65 Maverick, GBU-31 JDAM, which is a GPS-guided bomb, and AGM-88 Harm for targeting enemy radars. It can also carry cluster bombs, laser-guided bombs, and anti-ship missiles like the AGM-84 Harpoon. Furthermore, some F-16s are capable of carrying nuclear weapons, particularly in the B-61 nuclear bomb configuration, making it a dual-role aircraft. This capability gives the F-16 a broader strategic role in nuclear deterrence for countries that operate it in that capacity, like the U.S. and NATO members. So, the Tejas Mk-1 focuses primarily on Indian and Israeli missile systems, whereas the F-16 is compatible with a broader range of U.S.-made and NATO standard weapons, giving it more flexibility in international conflicts. Regarding G-forces, the Tejas Mk-1 can withstand a maximum of plus 8G and minus 3.5G forces, which means it can handle extreme maneuvers while pulling up to eight times the force of gravity. This level of G-force tolerance is crucial during high-speed turns and combat maneuvers making the Tejas highly agile and capable of rapid, tight turns. The F-16 Fighting Falcon, on the other hand, can handle slightly higher G-forces, with a maximum of plus 9G and minus 3G, giving it an edge in terms of handling extreme maneuvers and sharp turns at higher speeds. Talking about cockpit design, the cockpit of the Tejas Mk-1 is designed with a glass cockpit layout, meaning it uses advanced digital displays rather than traditional analog dials. It has three multifunctional displays and a heads-up display that provides critical flight information directly in the pilot's line of sight, minimizing the need to look down. The hands-on throttle and stick system allows the pilot to control the aircraft's weapons and flight systems without removing their hands from the throttle and joystick, improving reaction time during combat. This modern setup enhances situational awareness and reduces pilot workload, making it easier to manage complex missions. On the other hand, the F-16 Fighting Falcon also features a glass cockpit with MFDs and a HUD. But being a slightly older design, it has undergone various upgrades to improve pilot experience. The cockpit is spacious compared to the Tejas, and the bubble canopy offers 360-degree visibility. Like the Tejas, the F-16 also incorporates a HOTAS system, but with more advanced versions of flight controls as the aircraft has evolved over time. The larger and more advanced cockpit systems in upgraded versions of the F-16 provide pilots with a high level of situational awareness and control over a broader range of weapons and systems. Talking about the radar system, the Tejas Mk-1 is equipped with the ELM-2032 radar, which is an advanced multi-mode radar developed by Israel Aerospace Industries. It can track multiple targets simultaneously and has BVR capabilities, allowing the Tejas to engage enemy aircraft at long distances. The radar's ability to detect and track targets at a range of about 150 kilometers enhances the Tejas role in intercept missions and gives it a good balance between air defense and strike capabilities. The F-16, particularly in its later variants, is equipped with more advanced radar systems like the ANAPG-68 or ANAPG-83 AESA radar. The AESA stands for Active Electronically Scanned Array. 
radar is one of the most advanced systems available, offering superior range, resolution, and target tracking capabilities. It can track up to 20 targets simultaneously at ranges over 300 kilometers and can also provide ground mapping, helping the F-16 conduct precision strikes. The AESA radar is more powerful and harder to jam, giving the F-16 a significant advantage in both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground combat. And also, the Tejas MK-1 has advanced electronic warfare systems designed to detect, disrupt, and evade enemy sensors and communications. It is equipped with a self-protection jammer to block enemy radar signals and prevent detection. The Tejas also has chaff and flare dispensers which release decoys to confuse enemy missiles and radars. These systems make the Tejas harder to target and enhance its survivability in hostile environments. On the other hand, the F-16, especially in upgraded variants, has more comprehensive EW capabilities. It comes with ANAL-Q131 or ANAL-Q184E CM pods, which are more powerful jamming systems that can disrupt a wider range of enemy radars and communications. It also has integrated radar warning receivers to detect incoming threats and guide the pilot to take evasive action. Additionally, the F-16 has a countermeasures system with chaff and flare dispensers. Due to its longer development history and continuous upgrades, the F-16's EW systems are more advanced and can be tailored for specific mission requirements, giving it an edge in electronic warfare and enemy sensor disruption. Coming to the cost, the total development cost of the Tejas MK-1 after several years of research, development, and testing is estimated to be around $2.5 billion. The cost per unit of the Tejas MK-1 is estimated at around $43 million. This price includes the airframe, engine, avionics, and weapons systems, but it remains lower than other fighters due to domestic manufacturing, which reduces reliance on expensive foreign components. In contrast, the total development cost of the F-16 is estimated to be about $4 billion adjusted for inflation. The cost per unit of an F-16 varies depending on the variant and the specific upgrades it includes. For example, the F-16 CD variant costs around $50 million per unit, while the more advanced variants like the F-16 Block 7072 cost up to $65 million per unit. The Tejas MK-1 has seen a relatively limited production run compared to other fighter jets. As of now, around 40 units of the Tejas MK-1 have been produced, with more orders pending for future production. The Tejas is primarily deployed by the Indian Air Force, and its first squadron was inducted at Sulur Air Base in southern India in 2016. The Tejas has not yet been exported to other countries, although Malaysia, Argentina, Egypt, and Sri Lanka have expressed interest in purchasing the aircraft. HAL is actively promoting Tejas for export, but no firm deals have been finalized. In contrast, the F-16 Fighting Falcon has been produced in large numbers since its introduction. Over 4,600 units of the F-16 have been produced, making it one of the most widely used fighter jets in the world. It is currently deployed by more than 25 countries, including the United States, Israel, Turkey, Pakistan, Egypt, and South Korea, among others. The F-16 has seen combat in many conflicts, including the Gulf War, the Balkan Wars, and the War on Terror. It continues to serve in many air forces, performing a range of missions from border patrol to precision strikes against enemy targets. In summary, the Tejas MK-1 and the F-16 Fighting Falcon both are two versatile fighter jets from different generations and origins. Both aircraft have their strengths, with the Tejas being a cost-efficient solution for air forces needing a nimble fighter and the F-16 continuing to dominate with its combat-proven performance and advanced capabilities. Which aircraft do you think has the edge in modern combat scenarios? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's comparison. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.